3D Rendering Beyond to a tutorial on how to prepare and upload 360 degree videos to Facebook and YouTube using Cinema 4D, V-Ray for Cinema 4D and Photoshop CC. You can check out our previous tutorial on how to render using a spherical camera or box camera. We also explained how to upload a 360 degree image to Facebook. Once your render is ready and you have adjusted it in Photoshop, make sure to save it in TIFF and open it as a flattened image in Photoshop. We need to convert this image in a video, so the timeline must be visible here at the bottom. To show the timeline, just go to Window, Timeline, and it will be visible right here at the bottom. Click on Create Video Timeline and drag the video length to about one minute and a half or two minutes or as long as you like. You can also add an audio track right here. Just make sure it is the same length of the video. Then click on render video by clicking on this arrow in the bottom left corner. Choose your folder where you want to save the file. Leave preset to high quality. Your maximum size can be 4096 times 2048, but you can choose a smaller resolution, frame rate 30, and at the end click on render. Once your video is ready, drag it to your desktop if using a Mac, because the program we will use to add metadata has some issues with folders. You need to download Spatial Media Metadata Injector from, the Google web, from this Google web page. Choose Mac or Windows. Once your file is downloaded, start the application and choose the video you saved to your desktop. Click on Inject Metadata. And here you will find your injected video. At this point, you can upload this injected video to YouTube and Facebook, but make sure to use, as a web browser, Chrome or Firefox, as Safari doesn't work with 360 degree videos. This will be our video uploaded to YouTube. As you can see, you can just pan around and you can also choose the resolution of the video. And this instead is the preview of the video we uploaded to Facebook. And you can also choose if you want it in HD or not. This is it for this tutorial. Thank you for following us. If you want to stay updated with our tutorials and new releases, subscribe to our newsletter. You can find all our links in the info box below.